Thank you for joining us today because I really don't like the way that started, but we'll do that again right now. Done. Quick as a whistle. Is a whistle quick? Where's that thing? Where's that come from? <laughs>Welcome back to Bear Food Kitchen. My name is Tina Bear, and today we are making keto chili. If you have friends or family coming over and you need a quick dish, keto chili is very quick, very fast, and of course, keto friendly. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to add some onion. I turned saute on, so it's nice and hot. You can hear the sizzle delish and then we're going to add the ground beef and we are going to cook it together gonna go ahead and kind of there you go dump it all in ah Cook this for a few minutes. We're gonna do some salt and pepper, as much or little, you know, to taste. You like that sound? Pepper does it too. I don't use pepper, this pepper so often. He's quiet. Salt and pepper. So the Super easy thing about this recipe is you just brown the meat and the onion, and then we're gonna put the tomato paste in, mix it up, cook it together. We're gonna throw everything in except for the garnish and cook it for about 30 minutes or so, 35 minutes. And you have a yummy dinner. Break the meat up a little bit, like that. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Okay, I think that's good. Then we're gonna go ahead, add in the tomato paste. Now I made this recipe a few times and I used about a pound and a half of meat and it, it wasn't enough. So I upped it to about three pounds because it goes so fast. So I'm stirring in that tomato paste. It's gonna cook in, it's gonna give it a cooked flavor so what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to add everything in except for the garnish, which is going to be the green onion, the sour cream, and the cheese. I have a little bit of celery, which adds a little bit of a crunch. Some bell pepper. Some fire roasted tomatoes. These are crushed tomatoes, but you could use fresh if you want to. It's delicious. A ton of garlic. I don't know how much a ton is. A ton of garlic. Can you imagine? It has to be like one of those big old trucks. So good. Some cumin, oregano, some garlic salt, some chili powder. Now, of course, you can change this up into anything you want. You could add spicy chili flakes. You could add, I've done whole serranos and I just stirred them in because my little Jer Bear, he loves serranos. But today I'm using some chili paste and I'm just gonna add that in. And I want every drop And we're just gonna stir it up. Oh my gosh, if you could smell this now. It's not even done. So good. I do about 30 minutes to 35 minutes. I'll check it when I open it. 
And that's it. And then we will open it, we'll garnish it, and we will eat it because everyone is starving. Yeah. We are going to see what this chili looks like. We released all the rest of the pressure that was in there. It's amazing. You will never go wrong with this keto chili. When you have company coming over, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Serve it up with some shredded cheese, sour cream, some green onion. Oh, it's amazing, it's so good. And again, if you wanna dump it over some uh, baked potatoes, oh my gosh. It'll be tender, juicy, flavorful. But this one is keto. So we're not doing that today. And a little dollop of sour cream. What? Look at that. Is that like amazing? Looks and so I'll go ahead and take a bite. And I will use this. this fork okay it's gonna be hot cheesy with some onion look how juicy look how cheesy can you see that how drippy cheesy it is it's so good that chili that is added in there adds that extra little kick oh my gosh it's so good it has so much flavor it's like a burst of flavor in your mouth when you eat it look how juicy it is i mean i would pour this over maybe nachos it's so delicious i hope you enjoy it and let me know what you think when you try it out. Keto friendly. Love to hear what you have to say. Subscribe, like, comment. Let us know what you think. Thank you for watching.